Charlotte Sands finally dropped her debut record. Can we start over? Um, patiently been waiting for this one for a long time. Um, got all the singles here in the front with track four being the song she's been promoting on social media going into the record spite, which is so fucking good. I was going to say it is my favorite song on this record. Mm -hmm. Um, next, to the Point North collab, which was just so exciting to see. First, they're the only collab on the record. Her debut record, that's a big fucking deal. Yeah. Um, great, solid track list. Um, Spite is definitely the star, in my opinion, because it's just such a fucking ass-shaking, fuck you song. Mm-hmm. And she, she nailed it. Um, I do think it was The Closer and Die in This Room. Great songs sad sad as hell Mm -hmm. um but i liked it a lot yeah 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 this record's incredibly solid a a very solid debut i was shocked to see point north on here when i saw point north make a post about the record i thought john accidentally posted on the point north account uh, and like i figured he just produced like some of the tracks on the record or something and it turns out they were featured on it and i was checking the production credits and his name isn't on there on the production credits and i was like oh shit they're actually on the record (laughs) oh shit um so that was definitely a pleasant surprise spite is also my favorite on the record because it is just so like fuck you and also so goddamn catchy um but the but the record takes you on a journey it's it's got some ass shaking bops in the beginning you know you've got spite there with just so groovy um and then towards the end it slows down and you know ends off with uh can we start over the title track which is a a slow sad uh ending to the record um but overall i think the the record is incredibly solid stoked to see what she does next um she's going on a headlining tour this spring um and <clears throat> just patiently waiting to see what comes next after that um, yeah it's fucking it's so exciting seeing her just go from the small artist when we spoke to her where she was like my big dream is to tour with young blood and, and then she toured with young blood, she toured with young blood <laughs> and then she went on tour with five seconds of summer and then oh my god then she did a collaboration with um taking back well firstly with everyone literally ever <laughs> um crazy um but she did the 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 main feature with um taking back sunday which is still on repeat i love that song uh it's just she's everywhere she's Mm -hmm. done everything and in all of the singles that she put out before this album cycle started Mm -hmm. it's just already showed that she could do whatever she wants so she's already kind of like broken that wall down broken that box so this is literally just the beginning yeah. I'm I'm very excited to see what what else she does. Not to skip past this record because you should still listen to it, give it its flowers. But just past this, I'm like, what else you got up your sleeve? Because you already kind of dipped your toe in everything else. It is such a power move before your debut to just like do everything. Like yeah. she did everything from an under oath feature to the EDM to pop punk to just everywhere. And she everything, just, and and like it just pays it just paves the way before the record's even out that I don't do whatever the fuck I want. Like this record, yeah. has some songs that sound like the EP, but the EP was more pop punk driven. This is not. No, this is just Charlotte Sands, yeah. in my opinion. It's just it's that's it. Yeah. So <laughs> that that's my favorite thing with her as an artist is she just does whatever the fuck she wants. Like it, and none of it, it all on paper would look like it's coming out of left field, but then you listen to it and you're like, nah, this is. This is coming dead center. Yeah, exactly. And I do think it's it's incredibly smart, as you said, to kind of put out literally every type of genre before the rollout. Because then if you get big from the album, people can't be mad at you for shit you put out before the album. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, but you've if already she started the way. You're just exactly. like, you, the, the fan gets there and they're like, oh, well, she does do everything. So now they're, exactly. they're already ready. They're primed. It's it's. it's fucking perfect she already set starters for like everything that she could ever want to do mm-hmm. it's it's so exciting yeah so i'm I, waiting I for it. the metalcore <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the rap the metalcore the edm the pop yeah. whatever the hell you got man 